Well, hey everybody, this is Robert and welcome to today's show. And today I want to go over 20 mosquito-borne diseases. And this is not an all-inclusive list, there's others, but these are 20 of the more common ones. Some are going to be very familiar to you and others not so much. But let's go ahead and take a look. Now, six years ago, Bill Gates wrote in his blog that the deadliest animal in the world is the mosquito. When it comes to killing humans, no other animal even comes close. And he's quoted as saying, sharks are wimps compared to this beast. Now, according to the World Health Organization, about 725,000 people are killed every year by mosquito-borne diseases. And I want to go ahead and start out with the granddaddy of them all, and that's malaria. Now, malaria, from the Italian for bad air, is caused by a parasite called plasmodium, which is transmitted via the bites of infected Anopheles mosquitoes. In the human body, the parasites multiply in the liver and then infect red blood cells. Now, there are five parasite species that cause malaria in humans, and two of these species, Plasmodium falciparum and Plasmodium vivax, pose the greatest threat. In 2018, there were an estimated 228 million cases of malaria worldwide. The estimated number of fatalities from malaria stood at 405,000 in 2018, and this was primarily seen in Africa. Now, symptoms of malaria include fever, headache, and vomiting, and usually appear between 10 and 15 days after the mosquito bite. If not treated, malaria can quickly become life-threatening by disrupting the blood supply to vital organs. In many parts of the world, the parasites have developed resistance to a number of malaria medicines. Now, our second um, mosquito-borne disease is also a parasitic one, and that's lymphatic filariasis. Now, there are three different filarial species that cause lymphatic filariasis in humans. Most of the infections worldwide are caused by Wisteria bancroftii. Now, in Asia, the disease can also be caused by Brugia malayi and Brugia timori. Now, lymphatic filariasis affects over 120 million people in 73 countries throughout the tropics and subtropics of Asia, Africa, the Western Pacific, and parts of the Caribbean and South America. A wide range of mosquitoes can transmit the parasite, depending on the geographic area. The painful and profoundly disfiguring visible manifestations of the disease, lymphoedema, elephantiasis, and scrotal swelling occur later in life and lead to permanent disability. These patients not only are physically disabled, but suffer mental, social, and financial losses, contributing to stigma and poverty. And of course, here you can see in this photograph a picture of an uh, individual suffering from elephantiasis. Now, the bulk of the mosquito-borne diseases are caused by viruses, and you're going to start seeing a trend here uh, starting out now. And number three is yellow fever. Now, the yellow fever virus is found in tropical and subtropical areas in South America and Africa. There are an estimated 200,000 cases of yellow fever, causing an estimated 30,000 fatalities. About 90% of these fatalities occur in Africa. The virus is transmitted to humans primarily through the bite of an infected Aedes mosquito. There's other species that can cause or can transmit yellow fever also. Mosquitoes acquire the virus by feeding on infected primates, human or non-human, and then transmit the virus to another primate, human or non-human. The majority of persons infected with the yellow fever virus have no illness or only mild illness. However, roughly 15% of cases that do develop symptoms progress to develop a more severe form of the disease. The severe form is characterized by high fever, jaundice, bleeding, and eventually shock and failure of multiple organs. Vaccination is the most 
important preventive measure against yellow fever. Number four, West Nile virus. West Nile virus was first isolated in a woman in the West Nile district of Uganda in 1937. In 1999, a West Nile virus circulating in Israel and Tunisia was imported in New York and is now ever present in the U.S. annually. As of 2018, the U.S. saw more than 50,000 cases, including 2,300 fatalities since 1999. West Nile virus has been detected in dozens of mosquito species. Now, up to 80% of people who develop who become infected with West Nile virus do not develop any symptoms. About 20% who become infected with West Nile virus will develop West Nile fever. And this includes symptoms of fever, headache, tiredness, body aches, nausea, vomiting, and occasionally a skin rash. Now less, percent, less than 1% of people who are infected will develop a serious neurologic illness such as encephalitis or meningitis. Of this number, about 10% will die. Number five, dengue fever. Now, dengue virus is transmitted by female mosquitoes, mainly of the species Aedes aegypti, and to a lesser extent, Aedes albopictus. Now, as many as 400 million people are infected yearly. Dengue is caused by any one of four related viruses transmitted by mosquitoes. The principal symptoms of dengue fever are high fever, severe headache, severe pain behind the eyes, joint pain, muscle and bone pain, rash, and mild bleeding. Generally, younger children and those with their first dengue infection have a milder illness than older children and adults. Now, severe dengue, like dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome, is a potentially deadly complication due to plasma leaking fluid accumulation, respiratory distress, severe bleeding, or organ impairment. Now another um, mosquito-borne virus transmitted by the 80s mosquito is chikungunya. Chikungunya is a mosquito-borne virus that has been identified in over 60 countries in Asia, Africa, Europe, and the Americas. In late 2013, Chikungunya virus was found for the first time in the Americas on islands in the Caribbean. And since then, well more than 1 million local transmission cases have been reported. Chikungunya is a viral disease transmitted by the bite of an infected mosquito such as Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. It can cause high fever, joint and muscle pain, and headache. Chikungunya does not often result in death but the joint pain may last for months or years and may become a cause of chronic pain and disability. There is no specific treatment for chikungunya infection, nor any vaccine, though they are working on some. Uh, pending the development of a new vaccine, the only effective means of prevention is to protect individuals against mosquito bites. Number seven, Zika virus. The Zika virus is also transmitted through the bite of an infected Aedes species mosquito, the same mosquito that spreads dengue and chikungunya. If the individual is symptomatic, symptoms are generally mild, which include fever, rash, joint pain, or red eyes. Now, severe disease require hospitalization is, is pretty uncommon and deaths have not really been reported. In a few cases, Zika can trigger paralysis, uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and in pregnant women, it can cause subsequent birth defects, as you can see in the picture uh, right above my head of a child with microcephaly. Outbreaks of Zika virus disease previously have been reported in tropical Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Islands. Zika virus will likely continue to spread in new areas. In May 2015, the Pan American Health Organization issued an alert regarding the first confirmed Zika infections in Brazil. Number eight, Ross River fever. Now, Ross River virus disease is a mosquito-borne virus. 
Now, about 55 to 75 percent of people who are infected do not feel sick, according to the CDC. For those who do feel sick, symptoms of Ross River virus disease include joint pain, swelling, muscle pain, fever, tiredness, and rash. Most patients recover within a few weeks, but some people experience joint pain, joint stiffness, or tiredness for many months. Ross River virus disease infection cannot be spread from person to person. It is found throughout Australia, Papua New Guinea, parts of Indonesia, and the Western Pacific Islands. Number nine, Eastern Equine Encephalitis. Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E, is spread to horses and humans by infected mosquitoes, including several Culex species and Culicetta melanura. Symptoms of Triple E disease often appear four to 10 days after someone is bitten by an infected mosquito. Triple E is more serious than West Nile virus and carries a high mortality rate for those who contract the serious encephalitis form of the disease. Symptoms may include high fever, severe headache, stiff neck, and a sore throat. Now there is no specific treatment for the disease which can lead to seizures and coma. And the fatality rate for Eastern equine encephalitis is about 30%. Number 10, Japanese encephalitis. Japanese encephalitis is the most important cause of viral encephalitis in Asia. About 68,000 clinical cases are reported annually. It usually occurs in rural or agricultural areas, often associated with rice farming. The Japanese encephalitis virus is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected Culex species mosquitoes. Most Japanese encephalitis virus infections are mild or without apparent symptoms. Now, approximately 1 in 250 infections results in severe disease characterized by rapid onset of high fever, headache, neck stiffness, disorientation, coma, seizures, spastic paralysis, and death. Like triple E, the case fatality rate can be as high as 30%. There is a protective vaccine against Japanese encephalitis virus. And you can see the map and you can see the affected countries by JE. Number 11, lacrosse encephalitis. Now, lacrosse encephalitis virus is transmitted to humans by the bite of an infected mosquito. Most cases of lacrosse encephalitis virus uh, occur in the upper Midwestern and Mid Atlantic and Southeastern states. It was first reported in 1963 in Lacrosse, Wisconsin and the vector is thought to be a specific type of woodland mosquito, uh, an 80 species, called the tree hole mosquito. Among people who become ill, initial symptoms include fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, and tiredness. Some of those who become ill develop severe neuroinvasive disease. In rare cases, long-term disability or death can result from lacrosse encephalitis. Number 12, St. Louis encephalitis. St. Louis encephalitis is transmitted from birds to man and other mammals by infected mosquitoes, mainly the Culex species. St. Louis encephalitis is found throughout the United States, but most often along the Gulf of Mexico, especially Florida. Most persons infected with St. Louis encephalitis virus have no apparent illness. Initial symptoms of those who become ill include fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, and tiredness. Severe neuroinvasive disease, often involving encephalitis, occurs more commonly in older adults. In rare cases, long-term disability or death can result. So we're really seeing a trend too in, in, in the symptoms and, and, and the number of people that have severe disease. 13. Western Equine Encephalitis Western Equine Encephalitis is found west of the Mississippi, including parts of Canada and Mexico, and the primary vector is Culex tarsalis. As with Triple E, 
A vaccine is available for horses, but not for humans. 14. Jamestown Canyon virus. And we've seen five cases in New Hampshire of this virus uh, this year. Jamestown Canyon virus is a mosquito-borne pathogen that circulates widely in North America, primarily between deer and a variety of mosquito species, but can also affect humans. Since 2000, more than 50 human cases of Jamestown Canyon virus have been identified nationally. Most infections caused by Jamestown Canyon are either asymptomatic or result in a mild febrile illness. But more serious central nervous system complications, including meningitis and encephalitis, can also occur. There is no specific treatment for Jamestown Canyon virus, and care is supportive until symptoms resolve. 15. Keystone virus. Keystone virus is a California serogroup orthobunyavirus, which was first isolated in 1964 from mosquitoes in Keystone, Florida. In 2016, the first human case was identified in a teenager uh, in Florida. Now, this one case had a low-grade fever and a diffuse skin rash. The rash appeared in the morning of presentation starting on his chest and progressively spread to his abdomen, arms, back, and face. There were no vesicles and the rash was painless and non-pyritic. It is unclear if the virus caused the symptoms. So there's a, still a lot of unknowns about Keystone as far as its um, pathology in humans, since there's only been one case. 16. Myarovirus. Anopheles species, including some found in the United States, are capable of carrying and transmitting an emerging pathogen, Myarovirus, which has caused outbreaks of disease in South America and the Caribbean. Disease can include four days of viremia, a rash that may appear after three to five days of fever, headache, photophobia, uh, in, uh, enlarged lymph nodes, myalgia, vomiting, diarrhea, and pain in the um, joints, which can affect ankles, wrists, toes, and less often other joints. Joint pain may continue for weeks and may be very painful. Disease is clinically similar to that due to primary dengue virus or chikungunya virus. Myarovirus was first described in 1954 after it was discovery in the Myaro County of Trinidad. 17. Madariaga virus. Madariaga virus or South American Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus, has until now been found primarily in animals of South and Central America, with the first human outbreak occurring in Panama in 2010. Less than a dozen human cases of Madariaga virus infection have been documented, and almost all were encephalitis cases seen as part of the outbreak in Panama. A recent study reported the apparent recent introduction of Madariaga virus into Haiti. So we're seeing a lot of possible emerging pathogens in our future as we get to the end of uh, this program. Number 18, Barma forest virus. Barma forest virus is related to Ross River virus, and it's uh, been initially found in uh, Victoria, Australia. Many people may be asymptomatic. If symptoms are present, they can manifest as fever, headache, aches and pains in the muscles and joints, tiredness, rash, and swollen or stiff joints. Symptoms usually develop 3 to 21 days after being bitten by an infected mosquito. Most people recover completely in a few weeks. 19. All right, we went through a whole bunch of viral diseases. Now back to a parasitic disease. Dirofilariasis. Dirofilaria are long, thin, parasitic roundworms that infect a variety of mammals. Infections are transmitted by mosquito bites. 
Dirofilariasis is the disease caused by Dirofilaria worm infections. <clears throat> in dogs, one form is called heartworm disease. You may be familiar with that. And that's caused by Dirofilaria imitis. In people that get infected with Dirofilaria imitis, dying worms in pulmonary artery branches can produce granulomas, a condition called pulmonary dirofilariasis. And lastly, 20, Rift Valley Fever. Rift Valley Fever is a mosquito-borne virus that is endemic in parts of Africa. It primarily infects animals like sheep, cattle, and goats, and can have an economic impact on the community due to the loss of livestock. Humans get infected through contact with the infected animal blood or organs. Butchering and slaughtering of animals is a primary cause of transmission to humans. Certain occupations are at higher risk of getting Rift Valley fever, like farmers, herders, and vets. Now, Rift Valley fever can also be transmitted to humans through mosquito bites and through the bites of blood-sucking flies. Now, most cases of Rift Valley fever are mild, and symptoms include fever, headaches, and muscle pain. However, a small percentage of people can get very serious disease, which includes retinitis, encephalitis, and a hemorrhagic fever. Fatalities occur in less than 1% of those infected. And that's it. Those are 20 mosquito-borne diseases, 20 of a multitude more, but these are some of the more common ones. Some you, I'm sure you heard of, some you may have heard of for the first time. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and share this video, comment below, like it, Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.